What's going on, everybody? How you doing? This is a donation request. This is for Christopher. This is the band Dust, and the song is From a Dry Camel. This actually kind of sounds interesting to me. I also, I like that band name. I think that's cool, Dust. This is an American hard rock band active in the early 70s. Wow, they're only active from 69 to 72. So fast. Uh, blues rock, hard rock, heavy metal, psych, psychedelic rock type stuff. Heavy psych, right? That whole thing. So that's that might get me. We'll see. We'll see how it sounds. Yeah, Red Fang cover them. Okay, that's all right. They're a like a today band, basically. So Dust was formed in 1969 by Richie Wise and two teenagers, Kenny Aronson and Mark Bell, who I feel like that name sounds familiar. Kenny Aronson, bass player, played with Bob Dylan, Rick Derringer, Billy Idol, Joan Jett, and the Blackhearts, Fog Hat, Sammy Hagar, Billy Squire, New York Dolls, Hall and Oates. Since 2015, he's been the bass player for the Yardbirds. That's pretty cool. Strongly influenced by James Jamerson. Oh, I'm going to love this guy. Wow. As a teenager, he played bass for Brooklyn based hard rock band Dust, which included Mark Bell, Marky Ramon. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah, I thought also it looked familiar too. Okay, cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it, that name looked, Kenny Aronson looked familiar to me. Okay, wow, that's cool. Although Wise began writing material for a third album, the band dissolved due to a lack of promotion and Wise's interest in producing. Okay, while the band only released two albums, they later became a historical interest to collectors of early American heavy metal. Ah, uh, okay, 69. Right? We've talked about that before, that whole, like, because it's like that late 60s, right? Black Sabbath and all that? Yeah. Like, when it, when did it start? When did it start? Who, who did it? Who did it? Okay. Wise and Kerner. Who's Kerner? I don't know who Kerner is. Okay, Wise. So, Richie Wise and somebody named Kerner went into production with Kiss, among others, producing the band's first two albums. Okay, that's cool. Bell's Nest Project After Dust was Eastus. Okay, yeah, these guys, yeah. They all just went on to do other things in music, basically. And they only had two albums, Dust in 1971 and Heart Attack, Hard Attack in 1972. Okay, so this song, From a Dry Camel, is off of their first album, Dust, January 1971. Kenny Kerner was the producer. Okay, Kenny Aronson and Kenny Kerner produced this. Okay, From a Dry Camel. And of course, Christopher picks the longest song. <laughs> on the whole album it's a long one so uh we're gonna get to it but at least sounds interesting to me so we're gonna check it out this is uh from a dry camel see what this sounds like let's do it bam
there it is. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's all right. Uh, I, I like the jamming and the playing, I think, the best. The song itself is, you know, I mean, it seemed pretty basic. It was just a vehicle, feels like. I'm more intrigued by uh, the playing and the players and the story of, of it, basically. And I wonder what the rest of the album sounds like. That's kind of where I'm at. This was okay. You know, like song-wise, it's, it's whatever, it's fine. It sounds like it's kind of like early metal-y. It does, for sure. Uh, I mean, it's not Black Sabbath, but it's doing, seems like it's trying to do that, right? Go that kind of route. Yeah, it sounds a little bit rougher, you know, than like the early Black Sabbath stuff. The early Black Sabbath stuff, I feel like, sounds better than this just sonically or whatever but I mean I like I like this this is interesting to me this is more interesting to me for sure yeah my favorite part is definitely the jam definitely the jam and the playing you know the drum fills the bass playing bass is playing a lot also I actually feel like I noticed that mo way more than the guitar I feel like I didn't notice the guitar that much I mean it was there but I just wasn't my ear was going more towards the drums and and the bass the whole time pretty much the whole time yeah, the story and, and the sound of it, it makes me interested in the rest of the album, basically. What's the rest of the album sound like? This is the longest track. Every other track is not as long. It's like half half as long. So I'm like, maybe there's other songs that are on there that, I, that would be more what I'd be into song-wise, you know? Playing-wise, it's, you know, it's fine. It's all that. So anyways, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hadn't heard of these guys before, didn't know. Did not know. Pretty cool. Alright, Dust, 1971. Thanks. Catch you in the next video.